CNN's Chrissy Lucelle is live in Hong Kong. Uh, so, Chrissy, there's a team of world health experts. Uh, they're on the ground. They're about to end their time in quarantine, and that's when this investigation gets underway in earnest. How much cooperation are they expecting from authorities in Beijing? And that's the big question, especially as Xi Jinping touts that China will cooperate with the world in terms of finding an answer, in terms of managing the pandemic. Now, we know what's happening today is a group of 13 experts, scientists from the World Health Organization, are emerging from their two-week quarantine in China, some today, some tomorrow, and very soon they're going to go in the field in Wuhan to investigate the origins of the coronavirus pandemic more than a year after the virus first emerged. A detailed itinerary has yet to be released. Um, but the original scope of the mission remains the same. They're going to try to find where the virus first emerged and how it spilled over into humans. Now, CNN has been speaking to a member who has been in quarantine of this WHO team. She is a Dutch virologist. Her name is Marion Koopmans. And she says in the last two weeks, she and her fellow WHO scientists have been working and collaborating with Chinese scientists over video chat, looking over and poring over data sets. She says that among the WHO team members, spirit is high and that they're also aware of the magnitude of this moment. They are fully aware that the eyes of the world are on them. Now, this team of scientists are also going to have to navigate a political quagmire. You know, as you know, China has been roundly criticized, especially in the West, for its initial handling of the coronavirus outbreak and pandemic. Both China and the WHO have been criticized for not acting fast enough, and both the U.S. and China have been pushing forward rival conspiracy theories about the origins of the pandemic, with the United States under Donald Trump saying it originated from a lab in Wuhan, China, that has been roundly disputed, and in China, pushing forward a theory that originated from a U.S. Army lab, and that it originated from outside China and coming into China through cold storage or frozen food packaging, all that widely disputed by experts outside China. Now, given the political environment, realistically, what can this team of WHO scientists achieve? Well, I pose that question to an analyst. Take a listen to this. Well, I think if you look at the itinerary of the um, investigation team, uh, they've been uh, about to emerge from that two-week quarantine. They have another two week to do the site visits. Uh, we uh, don't know where they are going to visit, you know, who they are going to talk to, and what kind of information you know they are going to obtain from their Chinese counterparts. So this is still pretty much all right uh, unknowns to us. Now, according to the team of WHO scientists in China, um, their objective is to follow the science, to follow the data, but they are also urging patients. They know that the entire world is waiting for answers to figure out what caused this pandemic to take the lives of over 2 million people around the world. As that Dutch scientist who is part of the team and emerging from quarantine today, Mary Kutmans told CNN, she said, quote, previous origin investigations have taken years to complete. It's going to take a while. John. Christy, thank you. Yeah, but uh, it will be crucial to know. We appreciate that. Christy Lee's out there live in Hong Kong.